We live in more than ever connected society. Most people want to connect their phones and laptops connected to Wi-Fi network wherever they are. Even devices or house appliances are connected to Wi-Fi such as printers, fridges, lightings, doors, even more. But how many are aware it's safe to connect? Hi, my name is Yang Min Ha. My capstone project that I present today is to demonstrate common security gaps in wireless security. So what is a wireless security? Wikipedia says it's a prevention of unauthorized access or damage to computers or data using wireless networks, which include Wi-Fi networks. It also, Techopedia also says wireless network security primarily protects a wireless network from unauthorized and malicious access attempts. Wireless security has improved their protocol to a more secure version to protect from unauthorized access. These are WP, WPA, WPA2 and 3. Let's have a look at what these are more in detail. WP, Wide Equivalent Privacy, is the least secure method which uses a 40-bit encryption key. It has been proven that it can be cracked 100%, unfortunately. It was once secure until hackers found a vulnerability to its uh, encryption methods called RC4 encryption. WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access, is a stronger encryption type than WP, which is harder to hack but still breakable. The advantage of this type of encryption is that it uses a TKIP encryption, which is temporal key integrity protocol. The encryption key is newly generated time after time. Whereas WPA2 is more secure than WPA, that contains an even higher level of security encryption for Wi-Fi networks. WPA2 uses TKIP or AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, with the 64 encryption key. It is recommended to use AES encryption because it is complex and hard to decrypt without the right information. The US government also adopted this type of encryption. WTPA2, however, was broken, um, which is called by crack key reinstallation attacks. Uh, attackers can sniff and capture the four-way handshake that WPA2 uses in the proximity of the network. WPA2 use four-way handshake between clients and access points, like a router, to enable encrypted connections, but this can be easily cracked. We can see this in demo in a later slide. WPA3 uses either a 128-bit or 258-bit AES encryption key and will protect against dictionary attacks by implementing a new key exchange protocol uh, called simultaneous authentication of equals. WPA3 was developed in 2019 and is the best choice of wireless security for now. The new way of handshake for authentication to Wi-Fi network is called simultaneous authentication equals, also known as Dragonfly key exchange. The advantage of Dragonfly key exchange a forward secrecy and resistance to offline decryption. Good day, young tech network such as Wi-Fi and router. It is important as hackers need to capture that four-way handshake in order to gain, to gain an authorized access to the network. So there are uh, common wireless uh, vulnerabilities as listed. Using default SSID and password, most individual and businesses use the factory default settings physical access to access point, but there is no or less physical security for tampering the Wi-Fi router in person. 
vulnerable WEP protocol. WEP encryption for Wi-Fi password can be cracked 100% as mentioned. Packet sniffing, error dump command or tech is used as part of air crack package to capture all the packets that are in the Wi-Fi range. Evil Twins captive portal. Fake captive portals can be found in public locations such as hotel, airport, and etc. Let's have a look um, in more details. Evil Twin attack. The following steps are used for hackers to set up Evil Twin attack. Step one, hackers set up a fake wireless access point. The hacker chooses a public place that has many hotspots such as your local Starbucks or airport. Those places usually have multiple Wi-Fi access points with the same name. Then hacker creates a fake captive portal. If you have used the public Wi-Fi, you've probably seen a captive portal page. They usually either ask for some basic information about you or prompt you to enter Wi-Fi login password. Then hacker makes victim connected to evil twin Wi-Fi. They create a strong, stronger Wi-Fi signal by positioning themselves closer to the victim. They kick everyone off the connected network by flooding them with the authentication packets. Every user will try to find open Wi-Fi with the same name again when in internet was cut off. Finally, hackers steal login details. When users connected to the network, the users will be redirected to a phishing page where they will enter the same login details they used the first time they connected to a legitimate network. So this is how I set up a uh, two-crack password for um, a wireless router with WPA2 TKIP slash AES uh, auto, auto selection encryption uh, in my router. Um, I had a Wi-Fi router and mobile phone to connect to the Wi-Fi router and USB Wi-Fi adapter that is capable of a monitor mode and Kali Linux on my VM. So this is a step that I followed in the Kali Linux. Uh, start the wireless interface in the monitor mode and then start the error dump uh, command to collect authentication handshake. Then use AirPlay to de-authenticate the wireless client and capture the handshake. And once I capture the handshake, then I can run the dictionary uh, brute force attack in offline um, then crack the password. So let's have a look in uh, demo. So I set up four screens uh, in my demo on the top right hand corner. I start my monitoring mode. Um, so that's the sniffing network around my place. I'm living in an apartment so that I, I'm perfect. Um, I have perfect position to actually use this attack so that to um, see many Wi-Fi available access points. So in the, amongst those, I will find my Wi-Fi network you, um, with my name suffix YH, that's my router. So then I um, start air dump command to um, see more details in my router only. And then on the bottom left, I will try to de-authentication um, attack so that um, to disconnect my mobile phone off the network. So a bunch of de-authentication uh, commands were sent, but somehow I already got some files on the bottom right so that I removed this capture file and then doing it again. So I'll probably uh, resend the uh, deauth command again and to, to um, disconnect my mobile phone off the Wi-Fi network. And then somehow it captured the wi uh, handshake then disappeared soon after. And uh, I didn't know what was doing or what, well, what's wrong at the time. And then I was uh, still learning so that um, by the time I did this recording, um, I actually just did um, try to do it again. So probably in the in short, very soon I will just uh, confirming that there's no file captured there on the bottom so that I'll probably just wipe out and then start doing the 
um, error dump capture packet uh, command again, and then probably I'll uh, view the tech at the bottom left. Then um, in the meantime, my mobile phone was disconnected from Wi-Fi, probably, but it auto connect back uh, to the Wi-Fi. And that according to WPA handshake on the top right corner there, it's a captured. And now I'll confirm that in the bottom right that the root, the file location has got the capture files there. That means the file is captured. The next step is um, or attack with the dictionary file I'll download it um, so that it just compares, goes through the dictionary file um, and then to correct the password. So it took only 11 seconds and then I got welcome one password. So do you connect to free Wi-Fi in pubs, coffee shops, hotels, airports? a restaurant, but are you sure it's safe? So I'd like to conclude my presentation with some suggestion for safe practice and wireless security. Don't log into any accounts on public Wi-Fi. Avoid connecting to unsecure Wi-Fi hotspots. You don't know if there are evil twin attackers. Don't auto save Wi-Fi on your device. We don't know. We don't want to auto connect after having the author attack. Update firmware on your router. Always install patch where available and separate your network, such as a VLAN. Even if the attacker gets into the network, they can't get an access to the rest of the internal network devices. Use higher security protocol. Forget about WP, WPA. Use minimum WPA2 AES encryption, but possibly WPA3. Thank you. Hey, good one. Well done, Young. Very well done. Ah. Thank you. I hope you had a lot of fun as well along with that. Definitely. All right, questions for Young. Young, you said don't log into um, wireless -like networks at an airport. What about if I'm using a VPN? Do you think you can crack me then? Uh, VPN, uh, so that you can redirect your uh, spot to VPN, but the what about VPN itself um, is VPN provider protect their VPN um, for any uh, burglars or uh, you know attackers. Mm -hmm. But definitely it's a method now, uh, one way of to um, safeguard, but uh, I'm not sure of the in, you know, entire security of it. Okay. I do have a question problem, Mid, you might have answered it because I think um, my, I had a bit of an interrupted connection. Um, I was thinking, so you're talking about like how people can monitor you know your network connections and that do you know specifically how they do like what they use to do that or yeah it's a good question um i i found a uh, uh, by uh, you know with learning on this cyber security and concepts and i found um the package called aircrack so it's yeah. a linux based uh um you know, tools uh, i believe for you know learning purposes enough for you know the technical of course. So yeah, so that this um, this requires a, a Wi-Fi adapter that uh, that capable that is capable of monitor mode. So that's why um, that's how it monitors the network around you. So, but this attack is limited um, to a very um, proximity of the network you want to get into. So you can't just attack just miles away people in there. So. This is a very, um, I, I, I would realize that this attack is um, for very targeted uh, method. So that you have to be the vicinity of the target to actually get into the um, Wi-Fi network. However, I'm living in an apartment, uh, 26 uh, yeah. So I probably, uh, this is all also a vulnerable um, locations as well. Um, I can see uh, with my study or in a practice exercise, um, two, three open network I found, mm -hmm. but also most of them are WPA2, but I know that I can break it in so that they are vulnerable too. So, but also I learned uh, that um, there are patches available, but it also depends on the manufacturer. So it's not guaranteed, even though you, some WPA2 users can have patches so that prevent from this in um, you know, attackers, but some don't. It depends yeah. again, awareness, I think it's uh, all about awareness, if you know, and then you can do something about it. Right. Got to be careful. Thanks. 
Okay. Hi, Young. Did you try any complex password? Then welcome one. Or... Oh, glad you asked. I actually yeah. did try. I did try actually compare the welcome one and password one with capital, also a string of characters. So all, all the um, the word bases, uh, password like a password one, pass, uh, welcome one, they cracked down very uh, soon. But when I actually use a sentence, like, a, you know, I like to go to school, you know, I love cybersecurity or such, um, it, it didn't crack uh, until the time I actually practiced. So that is at least a good 10 minutes, I, could, I didn't see the answer. So that the longer password, that, that proves that the longer password is more secure. How long would it take in a, like in a normal setting? What was the longest time it took you to crack one? Uh, that was the one that was the one that I this, uh, I think uh, maximum just uh, 15 minutes I waited for my string of you know password but didn't crack. All right, good one. Uh, if there's uh, more, yeah, go for it, Ken. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen any routers that implement WPA3 or is it no, no? I I look for it, but um. That WPA3 in my presentation also mentioned that it was only um, you know, released in 2019. So I'm not sure um, you know, how quickly the manufacturers are um, canceling their uh, you know, features, but there must be something, so, but I haven't seen one yet. Okay. Right. Like maybe the, is there any upgrade, like update your routers to, to implement? Yeah, yeah so um, there I found that um, there are some manufacturers, I, I don't know, which exactly specifically, but um, it depends on the, um, you know, the manufacturer or the provider, service provider. Yep. All right, right on time. And I'll stop questions now and stop the recording. Thanks, Jan. Awesome presentation. Ooh, thank you.